Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I have another Weight Watcher recipe for you and that is for cinnamon buns. Now I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love cinnamon rolls, especially this time of year around Christmas. So I'm gonna be trying out Weight Watchers recipe for cinnamon buns today. I have tried their easy roll or easy cinnamon roll recipe that starts with a two ingredient pizza dough and is a non yeast dough. And those turned out really well, so I'm really excited to kind of try these and see what I think of these too. Now I've done a video on the easy cinnamon rolls. I will link that up above and down below. Like I said, those are very good and they are very easy. So I'll show you the ingredients real quick of what you're gonna need to make these. First off, you're gonna need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Here is yeast. You're gonna need about a tablespoon of that. You're gonna need a tablespoon of vegetable oil quarter cup dark corn syrup. You're gonna need some dried cranberries. You can also use raisins or dried cherries or whatever kind of dried fruit you want, really. Um, I'm using cranberries because I think cranberries in Christmas just kind of go together. Then you're gonna need some cinnamon, some nutmeg, a quarter cup light brown sugar, tablespoon regular sugar, a teaspoon salt, here is a teaspoon of orange zest. That's another thing that kind of makes these feel sort of Christmassy to me. I guess flavor-wise is the orange and the cranberries, I just think are both kind of Christmassy flavors. And then lastly, you're gonna need a cup of skim milk. And that is what's gonna be going into these. So the first thing you're gonna do is get a small saucepan and on low heat, you're going to heat up your milk, your sugar and salt, and your oil. Stir that together. Now the recipe says you're gonna heat this until it's lukewarm. And I'm gonna just go with that being about 110, because whenever I make bread that um, has yeast in it, I use liquid that's right about 110. So that's what I'm gonna heat this to. And I've got my little thermometer here I'm gonna be using to check. But once this gets to 110, I'm gonna call that good. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna also take two tablespoons of lukewarm or 110 degree water, and I'm gonna put my tablespoon of yeast in that and then let that kind of sit by itself for about five minutes. And here is my two tablespoons of water that I've added that tablespoon of yeast to. So like I said, I'm gonna just set this aside as I'm waiting for this to reach 110 degrees. Okay. That's at 1 in 19, which is probably a little higher than I wanted, but we're gonna call that good. So now, I'm gonna take my yeast and water that's been sitting over here, and I'm gonna add that in here. And mix that in, and I've turned the heat off. Actually, I'm gonna remove this from the heat completely. But I'm gonna stir this in, and then I will show you the next step. All right, now I'm gonna take this milk mixture and I'm gonna pour it into my mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna add half of this flour, roughly half, and I'm gonna start that mixing. And it says to just kind of keep mixing this flour in there until you get a nice consistency of dough. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna slowly just mix all this flour, or not all of it. I'm gonna slowly just mix this flour in until it looks how I want it to look. And I really should be using my mixing paddle right now, but I'm using my kneading hook and just kind of knocking the flour down into it, and it works. Okay, with about a quarter cup of flour left, this is what my dough is looking like, and I think that looks good. So that's why they say to just pour it in you know, gradually, because you don't always need the full amount. Um, so yeah, this is more like two and a quarter cups is what I'm using. So now it says to let this dough rest for 10 minutes. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just let it rest and then I will be back. Okay, I've let this rest for about 10 minutes. Now it says to knead it or you can knead it with your electric mixer, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna knead this. It doesn't say for how long, but I'm gonna knead it for, I don't know, about five minutes or so. I let that knead in there for five minutes. Now it says to let it rest for another 10. So I am gonna do that. So I let the dough sit for 10 minutes and now I've got it in a lightly sprayed bowl with a little bit of cooking spray and covered with saran wrap. And I've just got it sitting here on a heating blanket to help it with the rising process. I like to do that. I put my breads and rolls and all that kind of stuff on the blanket, just kind of give it a little extra warmth and help it to rise. So I'm gonna let this double in size and then I will be back. Okay, my dough has been rising for a little over an hour and it's definitely ready to go. So now I'm gonna take my remaining flour I have here, put some of that down, and I'm going to roll this dough out into a 12 by 10 inch rectangle, it says. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. That's not quite 12 by 10, but close enough. Now it says to spray this with cooking spray, lightly, and do that. And then also get a nine inch round pan and spray that with cooking spray, so I'm gonna do that too. And then put that aside. Got a bowl here, and I'm gonna add my brown sugar, my quarter cup dark carol syrup, My two teaspoons of cinnamon. And an eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. And then finally, my orange zest. And I'm gonna mix this all together real well. Okay, I got that all mixed together, and now I'm gonna just kinda pour this down the middle. And then I'm gonna just kind of spread it on here. Okay, that was a little tricky getting that on there, I'm not gonna lie. It's really sticky and it didn't wanna spread very easily, but I think that's good. So now I'm going to add my cranberries. I've got almost exactly a quarter cup in here, so I'm just gonna use the rest of these. I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle them as evenly as I can on here. All right, now I'm going to roll this up like a jelly roll, and I'm gonna start on the long end and just roll it as tightly as I can. Like that. Now I'm gonna move it over to this cutting board so I can cut it up into 12 pieces as evenly as I can. All right, now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna lay them in my pan. Okay, I've got all those in there. Now I'm gonna set this back on my heating pad after I cover it with some plastic wrap and let these rise again to about double their size or for about an hour. I've let these rise for about an hour and they I don't know if they've doubled in size, but they're definitely a lot bigger. So I'm gonna bake these at 350 for, it says, about 30 minutes or until they're nice and browned. I let these bake for 30 minutes. They are looking done. So now you're supposed to let them cool before flipping them out of the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let them cool. All right, I did not let these cool completely because we don't ever let anything cool completely in this house usually. Um, so I went ahead and flipped these out, and this is what they look like. And I will have my hubby try one of them. 
So that's what they look like. And these are six points a piece on all three colors, I believe. If that's not right, I will change it. Oh, <laughs> I got a close up. I think I might have overcooked those first off. It said 30 minutes and I let them go 30 minutes. They look a little dry. A little dry? Okay. It's on the, the top and it'll dry out. Yeah. Thoughts on taste? Other than the fact that I well, apparently... Well, I took a big bite, so... Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> no, it's really good. Um, you know, not quite as rich as, say, a non-Weight Watcher one. Yeah. Um, maybe not quite as sweet. So it's got a real... I mean, it's not a subtle... Um, cinnamon flavor, just maybe not as potent as I would anticipate them. Mm -hmm. But it's got a real lovely flavor. It's almost kind of light. Can you taste the orange in there? The orange zest? Because I could actually smell that when it was baking. No. No? Can't taste the orange? No. no. That's a bummer. Hi, Bella. Yeah, those are good. What yeah, do you the think? bottoms are just a touch dry. Yeah, I overcooked them. I And see, and that's why I always, or I usually don't cook things as long as what they say you're supposed to, because for me, it's usually too much, and I don't know if that's my oven or what, but I no, mean. I was, you know, I always like to say whether it's worth it or not, so mm -hmm. six points. Six points. Yeah. Worth it? Mm-hmm. I think those would be good for like Christmas breakfast or with yeah, Christmas really breakfast, good. something like that. What'd you say? Really good with coffee. Oh yeah, definitely good with coffee for sure. All right, well those are Weight Watcher cinnamon buns. Mm. Six points a piece. And I'm about to dig into one of these myself because they smell really good. And like I said, you're supposed to let these cool completely and then flip them out and I don't know about you guys, but I am all about a cinnamon bun, cinnamon roll, being Hot, being warm. Fresh out of the oven. Yeah, exactly. Hot and fresh out of the oven. So we didn't do that. And I think that was a good call. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one.